circle. Prove that the tangent drawn at the midpoint of an arc of a circle is parallel to the chord joining the endpoints of the arc. Okay, so here we have a question that is, we have a circle and consider an arc of a circle from the midpoint of an arc a tangent is drawn. That is a tangent is drawn at the midpoint of an arc and by joining endpoints of the arc a chord is drawn. Okay, so what we have to prove that tangent and chord are parallel to each other. Okay, for that let us have our figure at first. That is we need a circle. Let it be of center O. Then what we need next? We need an arc. Let A B be the arc. Okay. Then next step we need the midpoint of the arc so that a tangent is drawn at the midpoint of an arc. So we need the midpoint, let it be M. And next we have to draw our tangent, that is PQ. Okay. So PQ is passing through the point M, that is M is the point of contact of tangent and the circle. Next we need a code, let it be AB. Okay, by joining endpoints of an arm, we get a code AB. Then, next, what we have to prove? We have to prove AB parallel to PQ. In order to prove AB parallel to PQ, let us join a, join AO and OB. That is, we are joining the radius AO and OB. Then, after that, we are joining OM. Okay, we are joining these three points with the center row and these three points are the radius. Then, since M is the midpoint of RKB, then what we can say RAM equal to RKB. Okay? That is, since M is the midpoint of an RKB, it, it separates the arcs into two equal arcs, that is AM and MB. Then we know that equal arc subtend equal angles at the center. So, what we can say AOM equal to BOM. Then, this is our figure. Next, what we have to prove? We have to prove PQ parallel to AB. For that, we are using one more hint that is this angle equal to 90 degree. Okay. Why this angle is 90 degrees? Since radius of the circle is perpendicular to the point of contact of tangent and the circle. That is, OM is perpendicular to PQ. Since radius of the circle is perpendicular to point of contact M of the tangent, we get this angle as 90 degree. Now, let us call this point as M. Okay, sorry, N. Next, we have to prove AB parallel to PQ using this figure. Okay, so we have a figure here. Next, we have to prove AB parallel to PQ. Okay, so for that, we are going to adopt the method that B and O equal to O and B. O and Q, then a pair of corresponding angles are equal and we can say AB parallel to PQ. So we have to prove this, this angle is equal to 90 degree. As a first step, we are going to prove these two triangles are congruent to prove this angle equal to 90 degree. Then our work is done. Before that, let us assemble what we have, that is, Consider the circle with center O. Let PQ be the tangent of the circle through the point of contact M 
and A B B B chord of circle. Okay. That is, we have a circle with center O. P Q B the tangent of the circle through the point of contact M, and A B is the chord. Then we are taking M is the midpoint of R. Let M be the midpoint of R. Then R K M equal to M B. Since M is the midpoint, what we can say next? Angle A O N equal to B O N because equal angles subtend equal sorry equal arc subtend equal angles at the center. So these two angles are equal. Next, angle O M Q equal to 90 degrees. Since radius is perpendicular to point of contact of the tangent, that is O M perpendicular to P Q. So this is 90 degree. So these We have these all information with us. Then we have to prove this angle equal to 90 degree by using these all information. For that, at first consider two triangles AON. Suppose AB parallel to PQ. Consider two triangles AON and BON. Then what we can say OA equal to OB. A O equal to B O because it is the radius. Next, A angle A O N equal to angle B O N by about that is equal arc subtend equal angles at the center. Next, what we can say this side O N equal to O N which is the common side. Hence, what we can conclude these. Two triangles are congruent according to S A S rule. Okay, that is side angle side. By using this rule, we can say these two triangles are congruent. Then, if two triangles are congruent, what we can say? Since triangle A O N congruent to triangle B O N. What we can say, angle A N O equal to angle B N O. That is, these two angles are equal. Why? Angle opposite to equal sides are equal. Which which are those equal sides? O A equal to O B. So angle opposite to equal side. That is, A N O equal to B N O. Then, what we can say then? We have to prove this angle equal to. 90 degree. For that, take angle A N O plus angle B N O equal to 180 degree. What is the reason behind that? It is a linear pair. Since A N O equal to B N O, we can rewrite B N O as angle A N O. And what we will get? Angle A N O plus angle A N O equal to 180 degree. And 2 into angle A N O equal to 180 degree. Implies angle A N O equal to 90 degree. Yes, so what we get this angle is also equal to 90 degree. So what we can conclude a pair of corresponding angles of the line A B and P Q are equal. Okay, that is angle A N O equal to angle O M Q equal to 90 degree. A pair of corresponding angles between AB and PQ are equal. Since AB is AB and PQ are two lines, OM is the transversal. What we can say these two angles are equal mean corresponding angles between AB and PQ are equal. Then, so we can conclude AB parallel to PQ. Okay. This is our required result, or otherwise, the tangent drawn at the midpoint of an arc of a circle is parallel to the point joining end points of the arc. This is an important result that you can use later.